What's up guys, welcome back to Anamanji, and today we have a few interesting news stories for you. Um, but before we get into that, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you can get more movie news, reviews, and reactions right here at Anamanji. But uh, let's go ahead and get into what these news stories are. So today, Netflix announced that they are currently filming, or about to film, a brand new Carmen San Diego movie. What? I like let's just pause for for a second. If you're a 90s baby like me, this is huge. I remember I would play the Carmen San Diego games and then they 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 had a whole cartoon television show on that ran from 94 to 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 98 about trying to find out where Carmen San Diego was. So I thought that this I honestly thought that Carmen San Diego was long gone, forgotten, and then they just bring her back from the dead and make a whole movie about it, and they didn't do a bad job casting the sleuth. So Deadline reported that apparently Gina Rodriguez, who you may know from Jane the Virgin, is going to be playing Carmen San Diego, and honestly, I couldn't have picked a better choice. She has the look, and I honestly feel like she can pull it off. Um, I'm not sure what Netflix has in store for the character or what the story is going to be like or how they're going to turn this into a live action film. I just know that I'm excited to see the character back again. Uh, unfortunately, it's not on the big screen, but I mean, Netflix has done a great job proving that they can produce some quality big screen level content on the small screen. So I'm like, hey, let's just go for it. Even if it's trash. I'll be happy to see the character back once again. Our next story has to do with Robert Downey's Dr. Doolittle vehicle, which is due out next year. And apparently he revealed the entire cast, or at least the majority of them, uh, on a Twitter post. And I'll show the picture right here for you. So we have big stars like Selena Gomez, Ralph Fiennes, Octavia Spencer, Tom Holland, John Cena of all people playing animals in this film. And also we have other characters like Michael Sheen and Antonio Banderas who are playing live action characters as as well. This is gonna be a star studded pick. I personally was not super excited when I heard that Robert Downey Jr. was playing another version of Dr. Doolittle. I'm like, let the character die. Eddie Murphy did a good enough job back when he did it we don't need any anymore, right? But the fact, I mean, after hearing this casting announcement, I think that there might be something to this. It seems like they are really going for a, uh, a, a different take, and it seems like it's going to be really special. And the fact that Tom Holland is going to be in it, it's just, in my opinion, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> um, you know, father-son thing. I'm, I'm not sure if you like the whole father-son thing that they're doing in Marvel right now with Iron Man and Spider-Man. But me personally, I was a fan of their relationship. So, hey, if Downey wants to bring Tom Holland with him on his other film ventures, by all means. But I'm super excited for this. I can't wait for it to come out. And honestly, I can't wait to see like a teaser trailer or something so we can see some of these people in action, right? Now for our third story, apparently... Two new X-Men films that were supposed to be coming out this, this year are no longer coming out. Uh, and there's a pretty good reason why for, for both. It doesn't make it suck any less, to be completely honest. Um, but the New Mutants, which was already delayed until next year, has been delayed even further into next year. Which is a little surprising, considering that early reactions to that movie were actually pretty good. But apparently Fox really wants to make X-Men differentiate itself from other comic book movies like Deadpool and Logan before it. So they want to do some more reshoots and they want to add two new characters who are going to be who, who are going to provide more than just a cameo in, in this film. And I'm not sure if all this big studio meddling is a good idea. Um, I understand that they want to make sure that it's really good and that it has its own identity but at the same time the last time the studio meddled in the production of a movie we got movies like fantastic four and justice league 
So we don't want that. As far as X-Men The Dark Phoenix goes, that movie was also delayed until early next year. Apparently the cast of that movie can't seem to get together to do the reshoots that they were going to do. Um, and they, I believe that it's possible for them to do it before the November release date this year, but it would just be cutting it so close that they'd actually be rushing it. And we know how rushing a superhero movie will turn out. So maybe it's better that they've decided that they're just going to push it into next year, but we're going to go this entire year with no X-Men besides the Deadpool movie. So it's it's bittersweet. I understand why they're doing this, but at the same time, it just it just really sucks because I was really looking forward to seeing not so much the the new mutants, but Dark Phoenix. I I can't wait to see that that movie. And that does it for our news update for today. If there's some news that I miss, give me a shout. Let me know what I what I miss, and we can talk about it. Also, if there's anything that you want to see or any content that you want created, go ahead and let me know in the comments below and I'll get that content cre created for you. And also, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you can get more content like this, which contains movie news reviews and reactions right here at Anamanji. Until next time, stay dope.